get cracking. All right. You can type busted in the chat for your chance to win the hat. I'm cat in the hat. Let's go. We're going to open 104 packs of Hidden Fates. There are some new cards in here that we actually need to get, as well as some old ones. We got some reprints. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City Gym. This is new. Onyx GX, take 40 less damage. Okay, so they jammed these cards in there. The ones from the Misty and the Brock's kits. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Numbing Water, Psyduck. I did see the Misty's Determinations, and we got a Holographic Vaporeon. Traino Y, thank you so much for that sub. Nine months. I'm glad to be back. Thank you so much, Traino Y. And I'm pretty sure, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Detective Kyle, awesome. Thank you guys so much. We've got holographic energy in here. I don't feel like I've seen those in holographic form yet. So is this the first time? Let me know in the chat. Is this the first time that you've been able to get these in holographic? I'm not sure. Because I think it up until this point, you have just uh, been guaranteed an energy in pack, but I think this is the first we're seeing of this design in holographic form. So that's really exciting as well. Thank you, boyish good looks for the Twitch Prime sub. Great, great to see you too. I know Natalie is very excited about this electrode. We've got uh, this electrode here, new and Natalie collects electrodes. So we actually opened two packs, uh, two of the pin collections of Hidden Fates me and Natalie did on our way home from vacation and she opened one of these electrodes. She was very excited about it. We've also got Misty's Determination back in standard format with that artwork that I didn't know if they were gonna bring these cards over into English. So it's really interesting to see that we are getting those in our Hidden Fates. So yeah, Misty's Determination back in print. And there's Starmie GX. I have this card, PSA graded in Japanese. Here it is in English, Star Stream. Attach two water energy cards from discard pile to one of your Pokemon, spinning attack, and Hydro Pump GX. Very cool. Nice to see these cards here, the, uh, the Brocks and the Misties. We also got some legendary bird action going on in this set as well. You know, we've got the Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Tag Team GX, our first ever three-piece Pokemon GX, that's pretty exciting, right? Triple tag team, it's got like 300 hit points. But 300 hit points, I mean, that's not even the new sauce anymore. Now, we know that what, Pokemon V are going to have 330. We saw a spoiler of a Zekrom, right? It's gonna have 330 hit points. So that's pretty insane. I am looking for a Jesse and James. Let's see, we've got the Reverse Misties, Brock's Grit. We've got another Hollow Zapdos here. Hurricane Call, flip four coins for each head, search your deck for a Lightning Energy attached to one of your Pokemon GX or EX. Yeah, that's unfortunately not great, but it's cool Zapdos, I still love you. I don't think that there are a ton, a ton of playable cards in the set, but I do think that there are a lot of really good Reprints, I mean, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, also a great card. Misty's Determination could, is like one of those cards that like could see competitive play as well. Thank you so much, Cryptkilla, for the Twitch Prime sub, and Mac Attack for the Twitch Prime sub. Watching Tricky Jim while I sit in my car that won't go over five miles an hour. I am uh, really sorry to hear that, Mac Attack. Yeah, sending some positivity your way, sitting in traffic. I hope that you're sitting in traffic and not that your car is actually not capable of going over five miles an hour. I think that that would be, that would probably be worse if your car was breaking down and could not go over five miles an hour. So yes, sending some positivity your way in traffic. Electromagnetic wall, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. I'm sorry if this is redundant for you guys and you guys know all of these cards because uh, they are all new to me. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna read some of them that look interesting and kind of give my thoughts as I'm making my way through it's a little bit of a casual stream tonight we will uh we will get into some games later on but for now i'm just trying to i guess uh take in the new set right and kind of read and all that stuff <laughs> as long as this pokemon is your active pokemon whenever your opponent reaches attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their pokemon put two damage counters on it that's an uh, ability that we usually see on like Ampharos, I feel like. Getting it on a stage one, definitely not bad. Ah, 
No Mac attack. Your car is broke down. I am sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad, Lil Will, because these are these are new to me. So I'm trying to, you know, get a handle on them. Lead, flip a coin. No, not flip a coin. Usually a lead will just auto get a supporter. So unfortunately, adding the flip effect to that. Not super good. And here is our first shiny Pokemon. All right, from the shiny shiny collection portion of this. Is it called shiny collection or is it called radiant collection? I don't know. Is there like a SV? Can someone tell me what that is in the chat? SV? Anyways, we've got the shiny Rowlet. Pretty sweet. Shiny Vault. Thank you, Nick. It's Shiny Vault. All right, from the Shiny Vault portion. Want to get my words right. Sean's watching too. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, Sean. From here at Full Grip, the Shiny Vault. The Rowlet is turbo cute. Really stoked on that. We've actually got a lot of really playable cards in the Shiny Vault. I saw a Poiple as well. This is mostly new to me though. I haven't really dug in and seen what new cards are in here. I actually didn't know that the entire Misty and Brox decks were gonna be in this set either. So I kind of haven't really had any spoilers. This is mostly new to me. Bill's Analysis, another great card getting a reprint here, which should be nice for competitive players looking to get their hands on that card because it was previously just a hollow rare. So a little bit harder to get your hands on. Also, haven't talked about this yet, Pokemon Center Lady, Coming back to standard format as well is a card that has been out for years and then rotated a little while ago back in standard. Very cool, healing 60 damage and removing all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. Excellent stuff. And this Vaporeon, who unfortunately doesn't seem all that great, but anytime there are evolutions, there are collectors looking to get their hands on them. So we do know that the evolutions will be chase cards for those Evolution Collectors, who I know is out there, as well as this Eevee here from Shiny Vault, Energy Evolution Reprint. Awesome. This is so sick. Not only is this Eevee like the best Eevee ever printed, it also comes in Shiny, and I also own it now. So that's dope. I'm really excited about that. In fact, I think that the Shiny Vault Pokemon might be some of my, you know, my favorite Pokemon from this set, especially since... Uh, you know, I'm going to be able to play them. So an expanded format, if I'm ever playing an Evolution, really stoked to be able to play that. We also got Misty Cerulean City Gym, which uh, increases the attacks of your Starmie GX, right? By 40 damage. Absolutely busted. Apparently this shiny Eevee is almost 20 bucks. The cards from this set, tell you what, this is a great set to invest into. In my opinion, I think that this set... We'll just be one of those sets, another shiny, busted. We got Beldum here, fantastic. It's a reprint of the one from Guardians Rising. You guys can see they're not actually going to be standard legal. Even though this is a set coming out right now, they're going straight into expanded format. A lot of the cards, any card that has this A here in the corner means that it is just a reprint, but not a standard legal reprint, right? So it still has the Guardians Rising uh, set symbol on there, meaning it is still rotated. We don't get these shiny cards back into standard format, unfortunately, which would be great if that Eevee was standard legal. Unfortunately, it is not. The Charizard is crazy expensive right now. If we do hit that Charizard, that'd be wild. We, we've got the Rainbow Rare, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX, though. This is really exciting for me. I've been wanting to get my hands on this card, not only because it's good. It's the second Pokemon ever released with 300 hit points, which it is tied for first place as the most hit points ever on a Pokemon card tied with Magikarp and Waylord Tag Team GX. Unfortunately, not going to hold that title for long, though, right? With the new Pokemon V that got revealed at the World Championships, we know that there's going to be a 330 hit point Pokemon revealed at or released at some point. The Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX has got an attack. Trinity Burn, which does 210 for Fire, Water, Lightning, and a Colorless. And the Sky Legends GX. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. If this Pokemon has at least one extra Fire, Water, and Lightning Energy attached to it, in addition to the tax energy cost, it does 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. So if it has literally this same attack cost up here, uh, down for the GX, it needs a Fire, a Water, a Lightning, a Colorless, then it can snipe 
one ten to three, and you shuffle it into your deck. A wild attack for sure. I mean, that's that's craziness. Thank you so much, Xenofrost, for the Twitch Prime sub, and thank you guys to everybody who is here hanging out for the stream tonight. I really appreciate the warm welcome. Make sure to type "busted" in the chat for your chance to win this world's hat that I am going to be giving away. And then when we're done with this world's hat, I'm going to give away some other stuff too. So stay tuned as we uh, as we get those gone. Got a lot of exciting things going on. Now that I am back at full grip, I told you guys that we had some new action going on here at Tricky Gym. Riolu from Shiny Vault. Shiny Riolu is awesome looking. This is super dope. Definitely love that. It's the Detect one as well from Ultra Prism, which means that it is the good Riolu. You can pair it with your Lucario GX. Awesome stuff. And Weezing. With the Surrender Now ability, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is discarded with the effect of Jesse and James, you may have your opponent discard a card from their hand. So this is uh, another way to kind of limit your opponent's cards in their hand. Jesse and James, I think you discard two cards from your hand, and then your opponent discards two from theirs. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't read Jesse and James recently or at all. So I'm not sure if you discard the cards or if they discard the cards. So I haven't opened one yet. Funny enough, I actually, in the two pin collections that Natalie and I opened, I actually, we did pull a full art Jesse and James, but apparently I didn't read it too closely. This is a very cute Lapras. I love this artwork. That's fantastic with the beach ball. Very, very cool there. Gotta love that. But Jesse and James, apparently some people are saying, uh, oh, we got that holographic Misty as well, Misty's Water Command. Booski is saying Jesse and James got banned and expanded. Is Jesse and James banned and expanded already? That uh, <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I think that that makes sense, though. They're probably trying to make it so that you can't limit your opponent's hand on the first turn of the game. I think I did read that, though, right? Yeah, it's banned and expanded. I can't believe that. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. It got banned weeks ago. Yeah, sorry. I'm a little slow on the... Uh on the news right now i've been at the beach for two weeks and i think you know any sort of knowledge i had has probably been evaporated by the sun and left on the beach so i'm i'm gonna be re kind of reintegrating myself oh look at him voltorb thank you fru fernatic for the twitch prime sub everybody's supporting the channel tonight with the twitch prime subs the subs to the channel you guys rock Thank you so much for all love. This Voltorb is awesome. Floating electrons. There's, if this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, no retreat cost. The reprint from Celestial Storm, meaning that this is actually standard legal. It's pretty cool. So some of these cards, like the Riolu as well, are going to be standard legal because even though they are... Oh, Mr. Litleo, you subbed a while ago with a Prime sub and it hasn't shown up yet. You may need to click the... The little icon in the top right that says like announce sub or something like that. But anyways, Mr. Litleo, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. Yeah, you might have to click announce. Sometimes it doesn't do it automatically. And if you click announce, then it'll it'll show up. And then I'll see it. Hiker Full Arts, our first full art supporter from our opening so far. Look at the top five cards of either player's deck and choose one of them. That player shuffles the other cards back in the deck. Awesome card. There you go. See? We got it. Thank you, Mr. Litleo. For that Twitch Prime sub, awesome stuff. Got it. So we're doing pretty good so far. I want to see how many, how many packs we've opened. We got Erica's Hospitality reprint as well. Fantastic. Let's see. Done. We've only opened like 20 packs. That's not bad. 20 packs. We've done well, I think. We got a Rainbow Rare. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, Tag Team GX. We've got a bunch of energy. Another one, Full Art. This is gorgeous. I really want the stained glass version of the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. Apparently, that one is going to be released in the Elite Trainer boxes, which is super cool. So, shouldn't be too hard to get my hands on that card. I love, you know... Moltres, Aptos, and Articuno Tag Team GX. I love all of the Pokemon in general. I've got them 
all over my studio. Uh, you know, I, there's a Zapdos right here. I've got them, you know, all over the place. I love the legendary birds. I even got them tattooed on me. Um, they're like my favorite legendaries ever are the legendary birds. We got Articuno right there. So really stoked about this card, having all three of them on the same card. Super dope. Thank you, Chicken Strip, for that sub. Five months, a Tricky Gym sub. Thank you so much. Let's uh, see what we got in this one. So main things we'd like to see. I mean, the Charizard would be insane. Here's our first shiny GX, Scizor GX. A reprint from Celestial Storm, meaning that it is standard legal. Uh, it's got an ability, Danger Perception. If this Pokemon's remaining HP is 100 or less, its attacks do 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Steel Wing, 80 damage. During your opponent's next turn, your Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks and Cross Cut GX 100 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution, Pokemon does 100 more damage. Maybe not the most uh, competitive GX card, but hey, we'll take them. I love you, Scizor. You can come to the party. That's awesome. I think this card just looks super dope. All these cards are going to maintain collector value, which is just really exciting as well. Obviously, the Charizard GX is like the big chase card out of this set. And thank you so much, John VNGS27, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. The Charizard's the chase card. However, I think that it'll be, it's like obviously a bigger chase card in real life finally we've got a jesse and james that's awesome i'm really looking for the jesse and james full art i think that that would be a super sweet addition to the online collection here i would love to get that in full art we'll take it though in the regular art each player discards two cards from their hand your opponent discards first so you don't get to discard the cards from your opponent's hand they do that which is cool i mean this card is banned in expanded format uh, already each player dis to, discarding two cards from their hand, it would be like way too easy to maybe let loose your opponent to four cards or red red card your opponent to four cards and then Jesse and James them on the first turn of the game with Battle Compressor, Verse Seeker, Shaman, Dedenny. I mean, there's like a million ways to do that. You could limit your opponent to a two card hand on the first turn of the game, which I think is just too crazy, right? So they don't want to have that going on in expanded format which I think just makes sense. They do still allow Let Loose, Marshadow, and Red Card in expanded format, though, which is interesting, right? Because that is just limiting your opponent to a four-card hand on the first turn of the game, which is already, like, pretty bad. But they do allow that. But they think... Oh, Red Card is banned? Zeely, for real? All right. Apparently, Red... I don't think Red Card is banned, Zeely. I have not heard that. I think, I think that would be... That would be bigger news. Thank you so much, Wits, for the Tier 1 sub. On board for five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zeely with the false info. Man, trying to trip me up, Zeely. You were going to make me feel so bad if I didn't know that Red Card was also banned. <laughs> I was going to say. I was like, I know I've been under a rock. We got another Voltorb working towards a playset of these. Uh, shiny Volt Voltorbs out here, as well as Gyarados GX. Get it, O's. Looking mighty mean out here. Dragon Rage, 130 damage. And then Hyper Beam GX, 240 for four waters. Pretty cool. I mean, anytime you've got an attack like that, 240 for four, like, you know, you got to think Blastoise, expanded format. You could discard the Gyarados GX and then use Hyper Beam GX with a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Like, that's just gonna change the way that we look at water cards i think from here on out because of archie's blastoise and expanded with mewtwo and mew tag team gx right being able to copy any pokemon out of the discard pile you got to take it into consideration oh yeah let's go chat this is the best card from the set for online play period all right Full art, Cynthia. This is the hit. This is the card I wanted. This is amazing. Let's go, chat. Let's get some hype going. Fantastic. I can't believe we were able to pull the full art, Cynthia. There are a lot of full art supporters in this set. These cards are tough to pull. I know uh, Sean made a spreadsheet of how many. I think we only got one in our thousand packs. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sean, but I think it was only one 
full art Cynthia that we got. So that is uh, that that's just insane. We just you know we just hit the lottery with that one, which feels good because I did I bought these right. So like actually you know invested like a hundred bucks into these um, <laughs> into these packs. So this feels really 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 good to get. So that's very rare. That'll that'll be nice a little addition to the uh, to the collection there. Swag, got him. Sick rips, guys. Oh my gosh, another Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX Rainbow Rare, and another Jesse and James. That's good. That's our second one uh, so far. I think I'd like to get a playset just to have them as far as playability goes. Two Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GXs, though. Totally wild. Grammar Time asking if I have any gold stadiums yet. I have not. I actually forgot those were in the set. So gold stadiums would be other sick rips to get for sure. We got this Noibat here though. Very nice from Burning Shadows from Shiny Vault. Cute little Noibat. Oh, Riley with a tier two sub for eight months. Showing off the Ted emote. Thank you so much, Riley, for the continued support, dude. And uh, congrats to Riley, everybody. For making top 32 at the world championships if you haven't already uh told riley that he's awesome let's all tell riley that he's awesome at munner you rock all right there we go everybody tell riley he's awesome for making top 32 at the world championships big shout out to riley an amazing finish with his guard of war and sylveon tag team gx deck he did a phenomenal job yeah send your teds chat <laughs> to riley for his phenomenal finish. Jurassic Classic with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Jurassic Classic. And we got a Rangaroo. This is another big hit. I love this card. It is so good. As, uh, <laughs> uh, who calls him the Banana Master? Oh, is it, uh, Dark Integral? Yes, Dark Integral Donald. The Shiny Banana Master. Yes. Night Angel, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. This Oranguru is mighty handsome. I love it. This is a phenomenal hit. Instruct is a great ability. This card will be good forever. Expanded format. Gotta love that. Very, very strong. So we're doing pretty good so far. I think we're only like 40. Yeah. I mean, look at that. I got 69 packs remaining. We're chilling, big chilling. I've got a lot of great hits so far. So we gotta be feeling good about this. Booski says in Expanded, there's also Dual Brains Magnezone. Yes, there are multiple ways to play two supporter cards in Expanded format, but Lieutenant Surge allows you to play multiple supporters. We got Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX here. Not gonna lie, I think this is actually my favorite uh, artwork for the Legendary Birds. What, what do we got, Aaron? A box from Amazon. Has it got my name on it? I was probably... Natalie, did you order anything from Amazon? I just laid it there, yeah. Natalie, did you order anything? Should I open it? Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX. This is my favorite artwork. <laughs> Natalie says it's hers. All right. Yeah, you probably did tell me. Like I said, the beach, it melted my brain. I just, you know, I left all my cares and knowledge out on the beach. So we're just in the process of trying to regain that knowledge now. This is definitely my favorite artwork. I really love this uh, this illustrative artwork here. Very, very cool. All three legendary birds, super dope card. I'm thinking about picking this one up from Full Grip just to have for my personal collection. Definitely love that one. And I'm glad we got the regular art. Two rainbow rares, I pulled two rainbow rares and a full art. So I have a play set of the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno as well as two Rowlets. If Decidueye GX, ever gets good and expanded format. I'm looking at you, shiny Rowlet, <laughs> for my expanded, you know, if Forest of Giant Plants ever gets unbanned in expanded format, we about to pop off with our shiny vault Rowlet collection that we are amassing here. Vacation was wonderful though. I don't know how many cards I'll be able to open, you know, how many packs before I get cut off by some crazy hit, but Vacation was wonderful. I had an amazing time. We went to the beach a bunch. We went to a water park. I got the vlog.
coming out tomorrow, actually. So make sure to check out Tricky Jim on YouTube. My world championship vlog is going up tomorrow morning at, I think, uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can check that out. Thank you so much, Pat Vaishan, for the Twitch Prime sub. Seven months supporting the channel, but you've supported the channel longer than that. Thank you so much, Pat, for all your continued support. We've got Noivern GX up in the house. Dragon type, shiny Pokemon. I think this is probably my favorite uh, shiny GX that I've opened so far out of two. We got Scizor and Noivern. All right, Noivern, you're the, you're the king of the castle right now. Noivern GX with that distort attack. Item locking, very cool. Expanded format, you can use Double Dragon Energy. Definitely a cool card, to say the least. Always has that niche use of being able to item lock. Very, very cool. So, Vacation was awesome. Washington, D.C. was amazing as well. You guys can kind of get a sense of how the trip went by watching, uh, you know, watching the vlog that comes out tomorrow. As far as from the experiential side i ended up dropping at two three from the world championships it was just a tough run with pikaron i played pikachu and zekrom tag team gx i don't have any regrets kevin uh baxter a good friend of mine ended up playing the same list pika pads and did okay he was five and two going into his last two rounds and he he unintentionally tied with his second to last opponent and he had win in on board another no way are we getting another scissor gx okay no way are we getting another scissor gx all right i got scissors for trade everybody scissor gx's they're for trade <laughs> for sure but Kevin Baxter was going into his uh, second to last round, unintentionally tied with his opponent. He had win on board for next turn, but his opponent didn't concede to him and give him the win, and uh, they ended up tying. A lot of times in that situation, uh, especially at the World Championships, like I conceded round two to my opponent. It was gonna be a tie, but there's no point in tying at Worlds because everybody's just trying to make day two. So a lot of times if your opponent has like a clear advantage when it goes to time in game three, you'll just concede the win to your opponent. Unfortunately, that didn't work out for Kevin. So he was five, two and one and uh, got kicked out of contention with the same Pika pads list that I played. And then he did end up finishing top 128 at the open with the Pika pads deck. So he ended up doing pretty good, scored some points. Um, Riley was uh, the only one out of our immediate friend group who ended up making day two and obviously did phenomenal on day two as well with his Guardi and Sylveon tag team GX. We got a stack attack of GX here. Awesome stuff from Celestial Storm, shiny, ultra wall, good Pokemon, good artwork. Gotta love that. He, he looks great. What a handsome card. Gotta love it. But also, I was gonna say, there are uh, new, new news on the horizon. I was talking about this earlier, but we keep getting interrupted by just like filthy busted hits. We got another full art hiker here. Very cool. And a Mewtwo GX from, I think this was like from some family collection along with a pincer that we opened and I didn't really get to talk about. But yeah, I think these GXs unfortunately are not that good as we see. Super Cybolt, 110 damage for three. Yep. Psy Crush, 120, discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Yep. Kind of just a very vanilla, basic Pokemon GX. Not a ton going on there, but definitely good collector cards. Very, very cool. But yes, new stuff on the horizon. I actually am going to be making some promotional material for GameStop. I don't know how many of you guys may have seen the tweet that I sent out earlier, but they contacted me a little over a month ago and are gonna have me create some content for their emails. And they also said that it's gonna be going up on their Pokemon section of their website. So that's an exciting thing that we got on the horizon as well. I got the box they sent me right here. Yeah, GameStop, they sent me, uh, yeah, they sent me some swag. They sent me a shirt, you know, and some, some cool stuff. And I'm gonna be making some promo stuff for for GameStop, so it's pretty rad. And we're gonna be doing that to, uh, you know, just kind of promote their Pokemon stuff, which is super cool. It's an awesome opportunity. 
uh, for me and for Tricky Jim and the email that the videos are going to be in are going to be sent out to like everybody who's subscribed to like the GameStop emailer list or whatever. So it's going to be an awesome opportunity for the channel just to get like a lot more exposure to people who maybe aren't as familiar with the Pokemon trading card game. So I think that that's just a super cool opportunity for us as you know, a game to potentially grow and reach a new audience. So that is, uh, that is very exciting. And we're going to be doing that this week, actually. We got a Shiny Magneton here. I actually didn't know that anything from Shiny Vault was in Evolution. That's from Ultra Prism. Very cool. Uh, Magneton here. Gotta love that. Interesting that they chose Magneton, right? Is there anything super interesting going on here? People are saying to check out the Ekans. Oh, he's got an Articuno in the background. I did notice that there's actually... Um, who is it? Is it like a Hoot Hoot or something? Has Zapdos in the background, I'm pretty sure. Like, there are Pokemon with the legendary birds in the background. I think I saw Hoot Hoot from Unified Minds. I, I want to say it's Hoot Hoot from Unified Minds. I'm not exactly sure. But Hoot Hoot, thank Nick with all the answers. It is Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot, Dwebble, and this Ekans have all the legendary birds in the background. I think that's like a super cool little Easter egg that they have in these cards. I was actually really interested that, you know, I found it interesting that they chose to put hoot hoot in unified minds which had the zapdos in the background but then not have the zapdos in the set they were actually saving that for for this which i thought was super cool so that's awesome we're about halfway through our opening so far and we've already got one full art cynthia maybe i can pull three more and we'll <laughs> we'll get a whole play set that would be that'd be rad but yeah just letting you guys know about the GameStop stuff. Wow, we got Dartrix in here as well. I didn't know there was a shiny Dartrix. Okay, that's super cool. All right, to go with the shiny Rowlets that I'm already, you know, amassing. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we got Dartrix and we got two Rowlets, and we're working on, you know, hopefully getting, uh, <laughs> we could get Forest of Giant plants unbanned, and then I'll be playing these in no time. That's interesting. All right, Riley says they have full lines of all the Pokemon in the set. So does that mean they have Naginato? Poipol and Naginato? Is there a shiny Naginato? That would be an... Bruh! Aether Paradise, full art stadium. This is a phenomenal looking card. This thing is beautiful. Check that out. What an amazing rip there. Full art stadium, gold, looks great. Basic Grass and Lightning Pokemon take 30 less damage from the opponent's attacks. Beautiful, beautiful card. Definitely a sick rip. Wow. There is... Is there a... Is there a shiny Naginadel from Lost Thunder? No, right? Is it just the Naginadel GX? The shiny Naginadel GX? Because I know there's Poiple. Right, but there's no shiny Naginadel from Lost Thunder. I was going to say, those would be sick. If there was, that would be really, really cool since, uh, yeah, since obviously that's just like a very good playable card. Interesting. If it, the line has a GX, I believe the shiny line favors the GX every time. That makes sense. So they've got the shiny Poiple and then they've got the shiny GX. Wow. Is this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiny Charmeleon. From Shiny Vault with Burning Fighter ability. One, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn. You may discard the top five cards of your deck. If any of them are fire, you can attach them to this Pokemon. Very, very cool to get that. Uh, if the Charizard from Team Up and ever ends up being a thing, this might be a one of in the deck. Maybe. Thank you so much, Irish Espeon, for the support. Five months. Currently on a four-month streak. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much for subbing to the channel. I'm working out at the gym. Check this out. Full art. Giovanni's Exile. Discard up to two of your bench Pokemon that have no damage counters on them. Excellent hit there. This is a super slick looking full art supporter card. I feel like we're getting all the good ones. Like we've got Cynthia and we've got Giovanni's Exile. I do have two hikers, but hikers like also not bad. This is a great card to have for the online collection. Really stoked about that hit there phenomenal stuff 
Excellent. Sick rips, guys. Let's keep it chugging along. 45 packs to go. This this opening is going amazing. I feel like I've been opening these packs forever, and I still have so many more. It's because there's so many cool cards in the set. Definitely a lot of exciting stuff going on. I can't believe how many viewers. Wow, dude, there's like 230 of you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight and uh, for welcoming me back to Twitch. Appreciate it. We got a shiny Zerkatry GX, 180 hit points. Got that amazing ability, flashing head from Ultra Prism. So it is standard legal as well, though I don't think that Zerkatry GX is quite as good in standard as it is in expanded format with double colorless and just more special energy in expanded uh, format. The shiny Zerkatry, definitely a great card to have. That ability will just always make this a relevant card in expanded format because that is just such a strong ability. And then Lightning GX, also a phenomenal GX attack. Your opponent reveals their hand, add a card you find there to their prize cards face down. This set, as I was saying previously, I think is just a really strong set to invest into. There are a lot of really big hitters and I'm opening a hundred packs of this right now, which is insane, right? Because it's very hard to get your hands on a hundred packs of hidden fates. Like that's just, that's just not something that we really get to do uh, in real life. Full Grip Games was able to open a thousand packs of hidden fates, which is amazing. That's like the most that I've seen out of almost any shop, I think, to this point. So we had a thousand packs to open. We were able to get data on all that. I actually tweeted it out. Sean from Full Grip compiled it all and did all the work uh, as far as kind of uh, getting it together and organized. We actually sponsored the opening on Darium's Pokemon. So if any of you guys caught our thousand pack opening live, Darium's Pokemon actually streamed it on their channel so that was awesome if you guys actually are interested to go and check out the the physical cards getting opened a thousand packs they did that on twitch and it's actually live on their youtube channel now so you can scope that out as well but a thousand packs absolutely insane we had to crack like over 300 of the pin collections to actually get the thousand packs because the hidden fates booster packs don't actually come in like booster boxes, right? It's a special collection. They actually only come in like these things. But Nut GX, check that out. They actually only come in these things. And this is actually like, uh, yeah, these these are the only, the only ones left in the shop. They're pin collections, right? They, boom, right there. That is a case of that, Hidden Fates pin collections. And I know that, uh, Sean's like, Andrew, why <laughs> these are supposed to be hiding in your office. Now they're hiding on stream, but they're hiding in plain sight. Those are there. They're going into the vault. Those are very hard to get your hands on right now. Uh, Walmarts, GameStop, everybody is like selling out of them. Full Grip is sold out of them as well, except for, <laughs> except for that, which is just getting held on to. <laughs> <laughs> held on to for now because they're just so impossible to find right i think that this card is this set is a great set to invest into we've got all of our singles up on fullgripgames.com if you want to buy any of the singles from hidden fates that we opened you're welcome to check out fullgripgames.com where we got all of our hits up now that we opened in the thousand pack opening i think uh yes the elite trainer boxes are going to be coming out but those are probably going to be just as tough to get your hands on. Michael Zeely says they are getting released on September 20th, right? But I think if it's any uh, indicator as to like how popular those Elite Trainer boxes are going to be, to give you a point of comparison, right? This Elite Trainer box over here from Generations, right? This generation's Elite Trainer Box, I think, is like $100, isn't it? It's like $100, $120, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is like $100 ETB. I would not be surprised if Hidden Fates stuff takes like the same trajectory, right? And that Hidden Fates product, sealed product, ends up being just as valuable as something like that generation's elite trainer box so definitely a great set to invest into we saw out of our thousand packs 
we only opened four of those shiny Charizards, right? Swablu, check that out. It's got the collect attack, draw a card, busted Swablu. Got a shiny Swablu in Pokemon Go. Type bust in the chat if you've got a shiny Swablu in Pokemon Go. Let's go, chat. Awesome stuff. We are still giving away this hat too, by the way. If you are hanging out and you have not typed busted into the chat, you can do so for your chance to win this hat, which I will draw the winner of after I'm done with these final 29 packs. We'll draw the winner of the hat and see who that goes out to, which would be really exciting. Then we're gonna take a look at some decks and see you know what decks did well at the world championships which ones i might be interested in playing pincer gx here with its super powered horns 110 damage guillotine 160. yeah what a boring card can we talk about like some of the most boring cards ever printed i'm sorry pincer i don't mean to be hating like this but like what <laughs> Super powered horns is just three for 110. Guillotine is just three for 160. And there is no other text on the card. That is just it. This has got to be the simplest Pokemon GX ever printed. Look at how simple. There is not anything else going on there. Apparently Wigglytuff also boring. I'm getting some, some news in the chat from Lindo Cafe. A GX with nothing else going on. I don't think that I've ever seen that. Look at him, Natalie! Oh, look at that Electro GX. Beautiful card. Extra energy bomb. Love that ability. A card that maybe hasn't uh, seen its you know, rightful place in, uh, in competitive play yet, but maybe one day. Thank you so much, JB Gamble, for the Twitch Prime sub as well. This is uh, this is just a gorgeous card. Gotta love that. One of Natalie's favorite Pokemon ever. So I'll trade it to you, Natalie. You can you can have it on PTCGO. I'll let you let you trade that one over to your account. I know you'll love him more than me. The shiny Voltorb is definitely awesome too. You can even have the two-piece combo. I got a shiny Voltorb to spare as well. Misty's Water Command, very cool. I do have that graded in a ten. A Japanese version natalie says she's just collecting the in real life cards another mewtwo gx really want to find another cynthia i think the i mean the one cynthia we cracked is probably worth like you know almost this entire opening so that that's red i mean the cynthia pretty much pays for itself which is pretty neat and definitely just a an amazing card to hold on to. That Cynthia will be good, probably just forever good, even in expanded format. There will be some decks that like to play Cynthia, even though you know Colrus and you know Sycamore, Juniper, all that, you know, pretty much stronger supporters than expanded. Some decks probably will like a Cynthia in them. Some of them will, not everyone for sure, but some may. Jesse and James, Hollow Rare, another one. We've got three, I think, so far. We've opened one reverse one. The Cynthia is up to $100 on TCG Player. I know the Reshiram Charizards, are, or not the Reshiram Charizard, just the Charizard GX Shiny from Burning Shadows is like three to $400 right now, and it's actually been selling at that price. But if you look at it, Hidden Fate's just a <laughs> Look at this thing! Tapu Bulu GX! A golden one! What, what is this? I didn't know that there was gold Bulus in here. But uh, that that makes sense. I did know that there was gold Tapu Lele GXs. And I did know that there was gold Tapu Fini GXs. So I guess by you know, the associative property, we can, we can deduce that there was probably going to be gold Tapu Bulu GXs as well. So, all right, for all those Tapu Bulu fans out there, we've got a gold Bulu and gold Coco. All right, gold Cocos too. That's actually really good if we get the gold Tapu Coco GX. That would be very good for expanded format because that card will probably remain good. What does this Arbok do? This Pokemon's knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack. Discard two random cards from your opponent's hand. So you'd have to actually be attacking with it. Nah, I don't know about that, Arbok. Sorry. But, yeah, sick rips. This set is just so much fun to open. I had to 
had to get my hands on some of them for sure. We only got 15 packs remaining. It's been a lot of fun for me to crack, though. Definitely recommend trying to find some hidden fates if you can. Magnazone Shiny, insane with that magnetic circuit ability, raining metal energy into play. Awesome. And I'm pretty sure we've got the Magneton and we've got the Magnazone. I just need the Magnemite to complete the evolution line. That's super cool. I didn't know, honestly, did not know that that Magnazone was in the set. So I guess I should have deduced that by the fact that I'd seen a Magneton, but you know. Didn't exactly put it all together until just then when I saw it. Ooh, check that out. Alolan Vulpix, a forever good card. This card will be just good forever. I mean, expanded format, this thing will be a boss in some decks. I mean, it's gotta be. That beacon attack is just way too good, so we gotta love that. The shiny Alolan Vulpix. I wish that card was still in standard format though i just really wish it was standard legal standard format would love that card right now for sure really stoked to get that though now all i really want i wish i had shiny poiples that's the the one thing so that i could put my shiny poiples in blacephalon since that is a card that is seeing play i think that's our play set of jesse and james so that's awesome we got that out the way as well nine packs to go can we find another hit as good as cynthia or as good as a rainbow rare zard you've seen though i mean the rates on these things who a jellyfish not lego gx with that empty light ability uh automatically leave both active pokemon confused and poisoned when you play it from your hand very cool card i also just love nihilago gx one of my favorite ultra beasts there are i think there are just a ton of these shiny gx pokemon in this set there are so many that trying to pull the one you want is just very difficult it's another reason why i think this set is just a great set to invest into because these cards are just rare they're really hard to pull and they're also difficult to get in mass right it's really hard to pull together a hundred hidden fates packs and as you can see even after opening a hundred hidden fates packs we kind of just got whatever we got right we did get some sick stuff like this wiggly top gx <laughs> with the three energy rolling rush flip a coin until you get tails attack does 30 more damage for each heads and then lovely star gx 130 damage heal all damage from this pokemon busted tough what more is there to say? Yeah, not as boring as Pinsir though. Pinsir was way more boring than this. I will. T I was sure Wigglytuff GX definitely. It's not exciting, but uh, Lindo Cafe. Yeah, it is definitely not as boring as Pinsir. Pinsir I think was the. <laughs> Pinsir was probably the most boring GX card I've ever read. But these cards are really rare. Uh, they're gonna be, I think, sought after for a long time to come. It's not like Shining Legends, right? If you compare it kind of apples to apples with Shining Legends, there were a few shiny Pokemon in those sets. You know, those cards will incrementally go up over time, but there was only so many of them and they were more or less easier to pull, right? In this set, there are, I think Sean said, over 90 secret rares in this set. So trying to get your hands on the specific secret rare you want, unless it's Pinsir GX, which of course, you know, I have three of, then it's gonna be really difficult to do. And I think that that in of itself is just gonna drive up the value of this set completely, especially since you do have Unreal. What are we doing with three Scizor GX? Last pack, I got Scizors for trade, y'all. I got, got Scizor. Anybody want a Scizor GX? We got we got Scizors for trade. Anyways, that was awesome. We got one pack of Unified Minds, so we're going to rip that too. Thank you guys for hanging out while we open those. We're going to give away this DC World Championship exclusive hat right now, though. So if you have not, dude, unreal. What a way to top off that opening. Busted Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Sick. All right, I'll take it.